In this video, we'll see how we can calculate the expected fixed income return. So let's look at this example. We have an Australian-based money manager invested in US corporate bonds, assuming that there are no reinvestment income. Calculate the expected return on the US corporate bonds over a one-year investment period. So we have a 3.5% bond coupon rate with annual payments over a one-year investment horizon. The current average bond price is 96.1 for a $100 par. And in one year, the bond price is expected to be 98.5 given that there's no change in the yield curve. The modified duration is 6.3, convexity is 55. The yields are expected to change by a positive 0.3% or 30 basis points. Expected credit losses are 0.15% and there is an expected currency gain of 0.26%. So since it's a gain, it means that the expectation is that US dollar okay, will appreciate versus Australian dollar. So to calculate the expected return, there are five components that we will have to calculate. There is the yield income from the coupons and also the reinvestment income. Then we add in the roll down return. This is the change in the bond price, assuming that there is no change in the yield curve. And then we add in the expected change in price. And this is based on the investor's view on the yield curve changes. And then we minus expected credit losses. And then we add in the expected gain on currency. Or if there's losses, we will minus. So we already have the expected currency gain and the expected currency loss given. So we just have to compute these three items, one, two, and three. So for the yield income, since there is no reinvestment income, we'll just take the annual coupon, which is 3.5% times uh, the $100 par. So the coupon will be 3.5 over the current price, which is 96.1. So that will give us a yield income of 3.64%. Then the roll down return will be the change in price over that horizon. So that's 98.5 at end of the year minus 96.1 over 96.1. So that gives us a return of 2.5% assuming that there is no changes to the yield curve. So in the exam, if they were to ask for the rolling yield, then you will add up these two numbers. Okay. So if you, if you are looking for rolling yield, just add up these two. Okay, so that gives you the rolling yield. So that is 3.64% plus 2.5%. So that gives us 6.14%. Okay, then for the third item, the expected change in price. Okay, and this is based on the view, the investor's view on yield curve. So this will be equals to negative modified duration times the change in yield plus half multiplied by convexity multiplied by the change in yield squared. So we have the modified duration as 6.3. The change in yield, if I express it in decimal places, is 0 0.003 plus half times the convexity 55 times uh, change in yield 0 0.003 squared. So if you compute this, this will be about negative 1.87%. So we now substitute all this into the formula. So the expected return on the US corporate bonds will be 3.64% yield income plus the expect the roll down return of 2.5%. Then we add in the expected change in price based on the view on yield curve. That's negative 1.87%. Then we minus the expected credit loss 0.15%. Then we add in the expected currency gain of 0.26%. So that should bring us to about 4.38%. So that's the expected currency, uh, expected return from this investment in US corporate bonds.